So it has come to my attention that there's going to be a Taylor Swift cruise setting sail out of Florida in 2024. A Taylor Swift cruise. Ah, it's about damn time. What took them so long? And why didn't I think of that? Running up all the Swifties and sending them to the middle of the ocean for four days? That's inspired. That's a dream come true. Imagine all the Taylor Swift I won't have to listen to because everyone around me who would play her is bobbing along hundreds of miles away. It'll be like Noah's Ark, except I'll be saved by not getting on the boat. It'll be like Home Alone before all the burglar stuff, only instead of running around the house, sledding down the stairs, and eating a bunch of ice cream, I'll just have silence! No one forcing me to think that Reputation is a good album. Nobody talking about what era they're in as if we're not all in the Cenozoic era. Nobody calling me a Swifty when I like one of her songs and a hater when I don't as if it's not possible to have mixed feelings about things. And like, I love a lot of people who worship the Church of Swift, but she's just been endlessly forced down my throat recently. I've just been choking on Taylor Swift the last few years. Forcing someone to eat something they don't really want to eat is not going to make them like it. Damn, this might be the best four days of my life since my wedding trip. Why couldn't we have done this with Justin Bieber fans over a decade ago? Wait, wait, no, no, that probably wouldn't have been a good idea. They were out of their minds. If we put them all on a boat together, they probably would have killed each other. Why can't we have done this with Justin Bieber fans over a decade ago? Swifties, I do mean this with kindness and sincerity. I hope you enjoy sailing hundreds of miles away as much as I will enjoy you sailing hundreds of miles away.